so this is the second exercise for uh, neurographics before the session and here what I'm gonna show you is another tool that we have uh, in our practice is we are gonna be rounding the angles right uh, when we draw a line and as you can see here it's a lot of angles right here right there and angles um, they mean conflict some sort of conflict but it doesn't mean that a conflict is bad right and I probably gonna advise not to try to run away from the conflict because the further or the more we push away from the conflict but when we try to run away from it I think the faster uh, it <laughs> comes to us and it will get us sooner or later so in neurographics that's why we have that magical tool that allows us to deal with the conflict right away and again conflict doesn't mean you know that it's bad Usually, when we have a conflict, whether within ourselves or with, um, with someone else, usually we get a good lesson out of it, the truth come out, so all we have is actual uh, personal growth. So, I'd say that conflict, conflicts are amazing and not trying to avoid it is also a very good skill when you can deal with it right away right whether it's a business whether it's relationship whether it's your you know any decision in your any event in your life the conflict appears boom you know how to deal with it so especially in the first algorithm of removing limiting beliefs we do need to round all angles that we have and I'm going to ask you not to try to avoid the angles because I see in many um, works of my clients what they are doing. They are drawing parallel lines like this. So here we go. They cheating. They avoided the conflict, but it's not the purpose of uh, of this algorithm. It's not the purpose of neurographics. And it's you know in the algorithm of removing limiting beliefs, we we face the conflict. We face inner conflict. We face it. We. Um, aware of it and we know how to deal with this we just gonna round the angles that's it and the more angles you have like this the more you round them the more your subconscious mind is rewiring those old neural pathways we are dealing with patterns right here so we do need to change it we do need at one point to feel uncomfortable so don't be afraid of seeing a lot of angles you know what to do with this and how to round those angles as you can see right here i have one two three four angles so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna round them just like that and if so here you see like if I round it like this I have some sort of a rough kind of like edges in here right so what I'm, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just draw another line on top of it so I make this line wider here we go and there is even there's no um, conflict left right no angles so I want to show you another trick that you can use up here is if you can see this is like a small triangle right so it's very small and sometimes the tip of a marker is wider and you know it's not really uh, clear work coming out of it so what you can do is just you can draw a small circle inside you see so basically what I can say is this, with one decision, I was able to solve three different conflicts, right? Here. So try to make it very clean. Don't leave those rough edges behind you and you probably going to know what your subconscious will know that you didn't do the work as you could have, right? Here we go. So what I always encourage my clients to do is just to bring your work, your piece of art to the feeling of almost like a beauty orgasm, right? So you, you see, you, you actually like this work. Don't leave rough edges behind. 
you know, don't just like, hey, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna round it, whatever it goes, and I just leave it like this. No, you don't want results in your life like this, right? You don't want your life to be, ah, whatever, whatever, let be it, let it be like that. You want it to be the way you want it to be. You want it to be nice, happy, clean, new beliefs, new programs, new future. So does pay, you know, a very close attention to the way you treat your own work. And I want it to be very neat. I want it to be very careful. I want it to look beautiful and maybe in the beginning it's going to take just a little bit more time. But then, you know, since you do like a couple of sessions and drawings, it will become more, it will become easier, first of all, faster. And I wouldn't say automatic, but you're going to notice the angle right away and you're going to, instead of, you know, complaining about it, oh my God, so many angles, you're going to, huh? I know how to deal with this. I know how to deal with this conflict. Boom. Beautiful. You know? Sometimes we complain about something more, and we spend more time on complaining rather than actually dealing with this task, issue, problem. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And it's already also, as just drawing lines, it's already gives you a, like a therapeutic effect in here. It already gives me a calm state of mind, a little bit of med... Like, it, it, it does feel like a meditative practice, right? Usually, uh, on this step, there is a lot of resistance com comes up you know, sometimes anger, so it, like, be aware of what you feel, mm -hmm. and if that appears, know that you're on the right path, because if we feel a big deal of resistance in any topic, that actually means that we are on our, on the right track. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Continue doing, uh, rounding the angles. Uh, see what you feel, see how you feel. And I would say, don't rush and give this practice at least uh, five to seven minutes. And don't be afraid of angles during the session, remember. The conflict is always improvement. Conflict always means that you're on the right path, you're growing, and you're evolving. Thank you so much for your time. Keep practicing.